satisfaction. Scheduled himself beautifully. He played just the right amount of tennis between Wimbledon, I guess, and he chose not to play long. We got awfully fresh in the finals today. And played some jaw-dropping tennis. today Novak Djokovic that's a bit outstanding here conditions can be so tough today and pretty much the whole week conditions have been absolutely ideal it's uh, one of the most moderate uh, since the tournaments I can remember I've been coming here for 20 years and uh, the players certainly would have signed for this at the start of the week ladies and gentlemen here is Mary Jo Fernandez of CBS Sports thank you ladies and gentlemen have another round of applause for two, these two amazing champions this year marks the 114th straight year that professional tennis has been played in Cincinnati Please welcome tournament director Vince Cicero. Vince? Thanks, Mary Jo. Certainly an amazing week of tennis, and to close out with number one and number two is incredible for all of us. A special thanks to our 1,300 volunteers that helped put all everything together, and certainly our fans with another record sending attendance. Congratulations, Vince, on a fantastic tournament. Since 2002, the tournament has partnered with the Western and Southern Financial Group to make this event one of the most prestigious titles in the world. Please welcome Chairman, President, and CEO, Mr. John Barrett. Thank you so much, Mary Jo. Guys, you played great. Thank you for a wonderful week of tennis. The people just loved it. Biggest crowd in our history. We couldn't be more pleased. Two real champions. Thank you, guys. And now our finalist. Novak, you've had a really busy summer. This is your fourth consecutive Sunday playing tennis. How are you feeling physically? You started a little bit slow, but it seemed like you got your teeth into it in the second set. Well, uh, first of all, congratulations to Roger and his team. It's been a great week for them. Obviously, he was a better player today on the court, and uh, he started off really well. I, uh, I made a lot of uh, double faults on first errors, and I was just trying to get the first game and get some things moving, and the uh, second set was was good i had my chances i missed them and uh, roger deserved the trophy you talked earlier in the week though how happy you were with how you rebounded since the olympics and you won in canada so you must be pleased how, how, how excited are you now going into the u.s open yeah, i'm very pleased you know i had a fantastic week in toronto um you know very emotional olympic games and managing to 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 win the trophy in toronto meant a lot to me for my confidence and coming in here i really didn't expect to to get this far to get all the way to the finals and it's a great result and hopefully i can have a good u.s open well congratulations on another great week best of luck in the u.s open john will present you with your trophy novak And now our champion, Roger Federer. Roger, record-breaking fifth time you win here in Cincinnati. What is it about this event? I think I can hear part of it while you play so well here. 
Yeah, I guess it is. Uh, it's got a lot to do with the crowd. I mean, we travel a lot. So when you come to a place where you feel comfortable, the crowds appreciate the game and uh, we do the same and we appreciate the fans. It's a, it's a lot of fun. So I think thanks from, on behalf of all the players uh, for an amazing week, record breaker. It's always uh, something special when, when it happens. So thanks for that and uh, thanks for making me play so well this week again. You also have had a busy and exciting summer. How have you been able to transition so well from playing so long on the grass now to the hard courts? Well, we do play mostly on the hard courts, so the, the change is a big one, but it's, it's one that we, we do on a regular basis. Um, even more so impressive, I thought that Novak was able to go after the Olympics and play Toronto basically two days later, so that's a great effort. Backing it up here again in an incredible week, I think is, is a great round of applause for, for Novak for a great effort. And for me as well, like Novak said, I mean, it is a bit of a surprise, even though we are ranked number one, number two, you never really expect yourself to win these type of big tournaments. So it's been another amazing week for me and uh, I've, I'm having a magical summer. So it's, uh, it's obviously very nice and I'm excited about New York now, but still I'll, I'll first savor this one for a bit. Well, congratulations. John will present you with the Rookwood Cup. Fifth time's the charm, right? <laughs> That's his fifth. Uh, Western Southern Open trophy in the last 11 years. Thank you so much. Ladies and gentlemen, your 2012 Western Southern Open champion, Roger Federer. Well, the perfect week for the Swiss maestro. Not dropping a set the entire five matches. Looking good, Rob, going into New York. He certainly is. Of course, uh, he went at Wimbledon. Now, scheduling himself well, chose not to play last week in Canada. Wins here, will rest up again next week. He'll head to New York, I'm, I'm pretty sure, tomorrow or Tuesday. And just settle in there. And, of course, we know what his record is like at the U.S. Open. It's, it's incredible. And I guess off uh, the back of the wins that he's had of late, he's got to be the favorite going in there. No, Nadal, of course, we know he's got a good record against Andy. He's got a good record against Novak in big matches, so uh, the number one player in the world, enjoying being back at uh, the top of the rankings, and it's going to be tough to beat given the form that he's shown of late, Nick. And of course, uh, the third Masters 1000 event that he's won this year which is impressive in itself. The last time he was able to win three. And so way back in 2006. And of course in 2006 he went on to win four. And of course we still got to events in Asia and in Paris at the year end. And perhaps he can uh, equal that, if not top it. Uh, and for Novak, Rob, how painful is this today for him? Yeah, he's got a lot of matches under his belt with the US Open just around the corner. That's always key for these guys. I think uh, the confidence is going to be pretty good. It's not going to be sky high. I think if he had won here, different story. But sometimes I think it's, it's not a bad thing going into a major. You've got that additional motivation, perhaps work a little harder the next few days. And I think what that does is from round number one, it keeps your focus sharp. You know that you're not on top of your game still as he mentioned a few too many unforced errors too many double faults today so uh, i think that sharp focus will serve him well there at the u.s open he knows what it takes to go all the way there of course and it'll be interesting to see uh, who ends up making it uh, onto final sunday andy murray of course with a lot of work to do between now and then but these two uh, they've got to be top of your list, right? Yeah, Novak Djokovic uh, never really lacked any bounce-back ability, has he? Uh, it's been, uh, we've seen it over the years from him. A man, as I say, who incredibly broke the mould of Federer and Nadal. Many people thought it couldn't be done, and yet he believed enough in himself to be able to make that happen. A strong character of that, there is no doubt. Oh, we spoke about the fact uh, was six years ago that he was able to win three or more Masters 1000 events. So he certainly is turning back the clock in many ways as Federer. 
It was always going to be difficult for Djokovic as well, wasn't it, to, to repeat what he did last year. I mean, you, know, you talk about him leaving here last year with two losses. That just wasn't going to happen again. That was, uh, was a freak year. And, uh... and the man who his company puts up the big bucks for the tournament, uh, the CEO of the Western Southern Financial Group, John Barrett, enjoying his time with the Roger there. And uh, rightly so, he should be front and centre without gentlemen like him and without companies like his events like this just simply aren't possible big thanks to the sponsors and to the volunteers over a thousand volunteers here this week unheralded really they do a lot of the work as well i'm sure the fans know where they're going and whatever else is happening now. and we saw in london as rob was saying just how successful they were it's been a very good week here in cincy successful week So, where to next? Well, of course, we head to Asia uh, and to the Far East. Uh, Rob, we head to Shanghai for uh, the Rolex Masters there. Yeah, what a great event that is. Uh, good chance for everybody in the Asian region to come. We've got back-to-back -back tournaments, of course, the 500 event in uh, Beijing the week before. And then uh, Shanghai right off the back of that. Uh, what an incredible tournament that is. It's been voted uh, best tournament by uh, the players many years in a row now. Uh, Mike Loewener and uh, Charlie doing a good job there. And then, of course, uh, Paris at uh, the Bercy Arena at the tail end of October, early November. And, of course, we've got an early finish to uh, the season this year, the Barclays World Tour Finals, so finishing on the 12th of November. So we can shut up shop nice and early. And, of course, all the players can have a decent holiday this year. And a good break, rest the body. Indeed, that'll be a Monday-to-Monday -Monday event as well in London. It'll be a Monday final. Uh, at the O2 Arena right on the Thames. <laughs>